Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Bing Ads. I will show you everything that you need to know when creating your first campaign on Bing Ads. Everything from setting the budget, targeting the right keywords and optimizing your ad titles and descriptions to get the best possible ads with Bing Ads. So if you are brand new to Bing Ads and you have never run an ad before, this video is going to be perfect for you. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to to ads.microsoft.com or you can just click on the first link in the description of this video that should make things a little bit easier and it's going to take you over to this page right here so the very first thing that we need to do is actually create a microsoft advertising account this is very easy to do so we just click on sign up on this left hand side and then you can sign in to your microsoft account if you don't have a microsoft account or you would like to create a new one just click on create one right here and then you can go through and create your Microsoft account. This is very easy to do and they have step-by-step -step instructions showing you exactly how to create this account. Once you have your Microsoft account, it's now going to take us over to this area where we can create our Microsoft Ads account specifically. So we have a few options. We can either create a Microsoft Ads account. We can import from Google Ads if you have been using Google Ads in the past. Or alternatively, we can also import from Facebook ads. For this video, let's create a new Microsoft ads account. So we just click here. Then we can select which country the business is located in and which language you want to advertise it. So select these right here. The only reason you would deselect English is if you are specifically a brand in the Dutch market or any other market right here. But for most people, we are going to set this to English and then click next. It's then going to ask us to provide the main URL for your business website. So what you want to do is just go over to your website, copy the URL from the top and then paste it in right here. Now for this video, I'm going to be doing this as an affiliate marketer. Uh, so promoting an affiliate product. So what I'm going to do is click in here and this is the website landing page right here. So instead of my own website, I'm going to copy this affiliate link at the top and then paste it in right here. So if you are an affiliate, you can enter in the website you are promoting, or if you are promoting your own brand, enter your brand URL right here. Then we can click on next. And it's then going to ask us if we want to create an account and a campaign or create account only. Now, although this says best for most advertisers, this is a very simplistic way of doing it. But as you are watching a tutorial and I can walk you through this entire process, Create account only is going to be by far the best option. This is basically going to create the campaign for you and adjust it to what Microsoft recommends. So we don't want to go for this option. Create account only, then we can click on next. It's then going to ask us for some account details. So it's going to get the legal business name from the website that you provided. So I'm going to get rid of this and title my business GeForce North enter the business name in right there. Then you can enter in your phone number right here. Scrolling down, you can enter in your address. Uh, then we can enter in the province or the city or the state that you are from. So we just enter this right here. Then we can set the preferred time zone that you want to work with within Microsoft Ads. So even though I am in the UK, I usually like to set this to Eastern time as it just works best. And then we can also set the currency right here. Once again, I would recommend setting this to US dollars unless you are specifically in uh, like the European market. Like if you are specifically targeting a French market, then it's better to go for Euro. But if you are targeting like English speaking countries, then we do want to go for the US dollar. Then we can click on next from here and then we can enter in the payment method that we will be using to pay for these apps. And essentially we have two options when setting this up. We have prepay and postpay. Now, the difference between these, the prepay right here, you pay in advance for your ads and when your ads are clicked, we deduct money from your account balance. So essentially you preload your account with let's say $100 and you pay $100, that shows up as an account balance. And then as your ads get clicked, then it's going to deduce from your account balance. Alternatively, we have the post pay option. And what this is going to do is you pay after your ads are clicked. So you'll automatically pay at the end of the monthly billing cycle for however much your ads cost. In my opinion, it's always a better idea to go prepay. This way you aren't hit with an unexpected bill at the end that is more than you can afford. And secondly, it stops the issue of running into payment issues, which will put your account on hold. So I recommend prepay 
However, for this video, I'm personally going to go with PostPay, as this is not a Microsoft advertising account that I am going to use. It's strictly for this tutorial, so I don't want to put money on this account. So select your option, then we can select a payment method. Then we can go down and enter in the payment method details so that it can charge your card. And once that is all entered, we can click on go live right here. Once we go through and we now have our Microsoft advertising account fully set up, we can now start to create our campaigns. So when creating a campaign right here, this is the screen that it's going to take you to. And we have a few different options for the goal of the campaign. Now to choose one of these right here, it actually requires us to have conversion tracking, which we do not have set up yet. So instead of choosing one of these, we can create our own campaigns and set this in our own way anyway. So for now, just click on skip right here because we don't want any of these. We don't have conversion tracking set up yet. Next, we can choose the type of campaign that we want to create. And for most people, this is going to be such. The shopping connected TV, like this is going to display your ads on CTV streaming services. We really don't want any of these. When you think of Bing or Microsoft ads, you think of people who are using the Bing search engine and searching like uh, best side hustles. And then from here, we want to be showing our ad right here. So we can see ukjobshub.co.uk running an ad right here. And that's what we think when we think of running Microsoft Bing. So to get this, we want to go specifically for search ads right here and ignore these other ones. We don't want these turned on. And then it's going to ask which type of ad would you like to search? So we can choose between search ads or app ad installs. This is basically if you have a mobile app that you want to run an ad for, then you would select this. However, I'm assuming this is not you. So we want to go for search ads and then click continue. In here, we can now set up the campaign settings. So the first thing that we are going to do is create a campaign name. Uh, now, this is not going to be visible to people who are clicking on your ads. This is just for you to be able to distinguish between different campaigns and see all of the campaigns that are running on your dashboard. So for this, I'm, because I'm promoting this product right here within this ad, this is called paid online writing jobs. So I'm just going to go here and set the campaign to paid online writing jobs campaign. Perfect. Then we can move down to campaign budget. And this is where you can set the budget that you want to run for your ads. So realistically, you can set this from anything as low as $10. This is really the minimum that I would recommend. Otherwise, it's just going to take far too long to actually get data coming in uh, all the way up to like $300, $400 a day. I'm just going to set this in the middle to $100 per day. That way I can get some data pretty quickly. And that's all good. Then we can go down to location. So this is going to show where do you want your ads to appear? By default, if you selected English, it's going to show in these countries. So Canada, Ireland, United Kingdom and United States. This is where it will show my ads. Or we have two other options. We can go for all available countries and regions, which I don't recommend. This is not a very good idea as it's just too broad. You're targeting too many people. And a lot of the countries that you will be targeting just don't have the money to pay for your products. Alternatively, we can go for let me choose specific locations and in here we can choose specific locations that we want to target. So let's say that we only want to target United Kingdom and United States. We can just type this in and then we can see United Kingdom right here and we have target and exclude. So we can target the UK and we can also target the United States and we can set these both in here. So right now we are only targeting the US and the UK. What you can also do is you can exclude certain countries. So let's say that we wanted to exclude Australia, for example, we can type this in Australia and then we can go down and click on exclude. And this means that our ads will not be shown within Australia. So we can select the targeted and excluded locations here. Then we can go down to who and who should see your ad. So by default, this is going to be set to people in searching for or viewing web pages about your targeted locations. So what this means is, although I don't have Germany selected, for example, if somebody in Germany types in best side hustles, United States, then my ad is going to show up. However, I don't really want this. So I'm going to set this specifically to people in my targeted locations, meaning it's only going to show up for people who are in the US and in the United Kingdom. But you can choose what you want there. And then we can also select the language. Now, a lot of beginners make a mistake here and they think that if we select Dutch, for example, this is going to translate all of my ads into Dutch. 
This is not the case. Essentially, all this is going to do is this is going to show my ads on websites that are in that language. So if I was to select Dutch right here, if the web page is in Dutch, then it's going to show my ad on that web page. I don't want that, so because my ad is in English, I'm going to set this just to English. From here, we can go down and just make, sometimes this is on by default, just make sure this is turned off. So just make sure all of these are turned off and then go save and go to the next step. Next, we can start creating our ad groups. So this is where we can actually go ahead and start to create the ads that we are going to run through Microsoft and Bing. Now, the first thing it's going to ask here is your website URL. So if we enter a website URL in here, what it's going to do is it's going to scan the website to see what the website is about. And then it's going to recommend those different keywords and different things that we can target when running these ads. So just to show you what this looks like, I'm going to copy this URL and paste this in right here then click enter. And as you can see, it's now going to start loading these ad group and keyword ideas. So this is going to show up and these are all of the AdWords that we can get. Now, before we go ahead and select any of these, we need to set up the ad group net. So this is where you can create ad groups to target different types of keywords. And then you can see which keywords are working the best. So for this ad group, we can title this like jobs. And then we are going to look down here for any keywords that would be good for our offer and are also targeting jobs. So if we open these up, we can see there are 70 keywords. And let's have a look at these. So job search might be pretty good. Uh, hot jobs as well. Uh, I don't know what that is. That could be something weird. Uh, <laughs> job test, maybe. Uh, paid online writing jobs. So the specific keyword is going to show up. And um, yeah, I'm just going to stick with these for now. So once you have selected all of the keywords that you would like to target, we can go add to ad group. And then we want to go down, add to these ad groups and select that specific ad group. So we check this on and then click on add. And they are all going to be added right here. Then we can go down and look at some more. So these jobs, indeed jobs, monster jobs, freelance jobs, we can just select all of these. Select as many as you want to target. And also we can see the monthly searches that these are getting. So this is something I definitely should have mentioned earlier, but this is going to show on average how many monthly searches these specific keywords are getting. So this can be very broad. We can see job openings right here. It's saying that every month this is getting on average between 1000 to 10,000 monthly searches. Then we can also see the average cost per click. So on this one right here, we can see job openings. On average, this is going to cost us 30 cents if somebody clicks on our app. Whereas this one right here, job offer letter template, this is actually not a very good keyword. This is going to cost us 81 cents every time that somebody clicks on our ad. So this is something that you want to keep in mind as well. And any of these that have an extremely high CPC, you want to turn off. So looking at these, this is like looking a little bit over average. Like the average that I'm seeing here is probably about 50 cents. So let's turn this off. Uh, 76 cents is a little bit too high. Uh, job work, 22 cents. This is perfect. Uh, job ideas, 32 cents is awesome as well. So just select these. And then the only other thing on here is going to be the competition. So the competition basically shows the number of advertisers bidding on this keyword. So although the competition can be high, then all you have to do is outbid the people on there and your ad is going to be shown. So either way, we can go add to ad group, then we can go jobs and add. And then we can see we have this ad group created that is jobs. Now, this was not very thorough of me to go through and just select the ones that I did. Uh, so if I was doing this properly, then I would really take my time to look at all the monthly searches, the average cost per click, and then competition. If we are searching for something like jobs or side hustles, then most of these are going to be high. So I'm not really going to pay attention to this. I'm basically just going to be looking at the average cost per click, looking at the average, and then deselecting any that are way over average. So just looking at the cost per click, all of these are cool. This one's pretty expensive, so I definitely wouldn't be selecting this, but all the rest of these are fine, as long as the keyword is relevant to your offer. So once again, let's just select all of these, apart from this bottom one, add these to the ad group, and then add. And there we go, we now have the jobs ad group created. Then we might want to create a second ad group, and we might want to call this side hustle. And then in here, what we can do is, because side hustle is not showing up when I search for this, it's all to do with jobs is we can go up here and we can delete this and say, hey, I don't want to search this anymore. And we can now go in here and search for like side hustle. Then we click enter. 
And this is now going to bring me up a list of keywords that are relating to side hustles. So look at these, side hustle right here. Let's have a look at these. And once again, we can look at the cost per click. So looking at this, I can see the cost per click when targeting side hustles is pretty much more expensive. Like look at this, $1.40 is crazy. So with this one, we're probably looking at about a dollar cost per click, but it's still definitely worth testing this out. We can see which of these ad groups is going to be the most profitable. So I'm happy to target side hustles, monthly side hustle websites, 100 side hustles, uh, right here where it says monthly average cost per click is zero. Don't listen to this. Uh, oftentimes I would just turn this off if it looks ridiculously low because there's no way looking at all of these, we are going to get a free cost per click and a five cent cost per click. That's just crazy. So let's just go down and and target the ones that are looking pretty nice and pretty good. That one's crazy, but you get the idea. We just go up, add these to the group. We want to add this one to site hustle. So right here, we now have jobs and we have a side hustle group created. If you want to add any more, we just go add new group and then you follow the same methods that we just talked about. Once you have set all of these up, we then want to go down and save and go to the next step. It's then going to ask us if we want to add any ad extensions. Now, essentially what these do is these make your ads larger and more eye-catching by adding more information to this. So I wouldn't recommend this as if we look, essentially this can cost more. So ad extensions are free to add and only charge for any clicks you get. So as a beginner, I wouldn't recommend adding these. I would just be testing out with your standard ad groups and then later down the line, when you find a more profitable campaign, then you can add ad extensions. Uh, essentially, the way that we do this though is we can go add extension, we can link to different areas, we can add a description of what this is. But once again, I'm not going to recommend this in a beginner's tutorial. Same with action extensions right here to show a call to action button in your text ads. Uh, once again, we can just go like add new extension and then we can basically choose one of these options. So if this is offering like paid jobs, then what we could do is we could go to like apply now. We could add this in right here. Uh, but once again, I wouldn't recommend this. Just stick to the basic ads right here. But what we are going to do is if we go back up, this is actually where we can start creating our ads. So we can see we have the two ad groups right here. We have jobs and side hustle, and we can now create our ads for each of these. So we can go in and this is where we can add headlines. We can add description. And right here, it's going to show what these ads are going to look like when somebody searches for this on Bing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add the URL that I want to take people to. Now, as this is specifically an affiliate offer, I'm going to go to ClickBank right here and promote this product, uh, enter in my affiliate nickname create top link. And as this is my affiliate link, I'm just going to enter this in right here. However, if you are just running a normal website, like a Shopify store that you are running ads to, then just enter your Shopify URL. You don't need to do anything fancy with affiliate links like I just did there. Then we can do the same for the mobile URL. So when people search for this on mobile, they're going to be taken through to the same link. And then the path right here. So what this is going to do, and this looks horrible because this is an affiliate link, this will look absolutely fine if you are just promoting your website and not an affiliate link. But you can see right here, I have my affiliate link that looks horrendous. So if you do have a link that looks like this, then I would recommend using a link shortener because this right here just looks really scummy and is it's definitely going to take away from the clicks that we get. However, either way, we can go in here and we can add something to the after path. So I could go for like online jobs. I'm like apply now and then you can see it's going to add at the end right here so that's always a good idea to add that next we can go down and add in the headlines that we want to show for our ads so by default microsoft ads is basically going to use ai to come up with some ad headlines that we can test out so the first one that they say right here is work flexibly and we can see the ad right here however i don't really like this so i'm going to title this something different now, because this one right here, the ad that we are working on is in the job section, we want this to be something to do with jobs. So I'm going to put in here, best online jobs today. And then what we can do is we want to pin this. So basically we can see right here, we have these lines. So this right here before this line is position one, this one right here is position two. And then this one right here is position three. Now, best online jobs today. I always want this showing up at the start. I don't want this showing up at the end. So what I'm going to do is pin and then we can show only this headline in position one. So this means it's not going to move around. Best online jobs today that I just set, because this is pinned, is going to be pinned to position one. So in the second one, I'm now going to go work from home. 
Then I want this showing up right here in the second position. So I'm then going to pin this to position two. And it means that this is only going to show up here. Then work your way. I'm going to delete this as well. And I'm going to have this as apply now. Then we can pin this to position three. So now I have my first bunch of headlines that we can test out. However, I don't know if best online jobs today is going to convert the best. So this is where I want to add some more headlines in to really get an idea of which of these headlines is going to convert the best. So I'm going to go down to this one and I now need to come up with a new idea that I'm going to tag in this first position so that Bing ads can switch these out and change them. And I can see which of these is going to convert the best. So I'm going to title this one online jobs in five minutes. Then once again, we can pin this to position one. And as I say, what this is now going to do is this is going to switch between these two and figure out which of these gets the most clicks and converts the best. So for this one, I'm going to go get accepted in five minutes. Then I'm going to pin this to position two. And then I actually like apply now. So I'm not going to test this with any more. I want this as the only one that shows up for pin three. But then basically what this is going to do is this is going to mix and match them. So sometimes it's going to show this pin one and this pin two together. Sometimes it will show this pin one and this pin two together. Sometimes it will show this pin one and this pin two and this pin one and this pin two. You get the idea. So we can add as many of these as we like and as many variations. And then we can go down to descriptions. So we can see the description is going to be right here. By default, this says choose work that fits your schedule, writing gigs with flexible hours. I already like this, so this is pretty good. I'm going to leave these. But once again, I want to pin this to position one and pin this one to position two. Then I'm going to add a new description and let's try the best online jobs that you can get today. Then we can pin this to position one and then we will go for one more writing gigs that pay by the hour. And then we are going to pin this to position two, just like that. So we now have the descriptions added in right there. Next, we can go down and add image extensions. And this is basically where you can show images on your ads. Now, I usually don't use this. I prefer just to have these text ads. However, you can add image extensions. So all you would have to do to do this is just go add image. So then we can choose from stock images. We can scan the website that we added in to find images there or you can upload your own images from your computer. So just in this example, uh, let's go for this one, this stock image, and then we can click on apply. Then we can choose the name and display text. So what's going to show up there will work from uh, home. And then once again, we will just set this to work from home uh, jobs for, for when people hover over this. And then we can click on save. And just like that, it's now going to show what the ad is going to look like. So that's how you can set images up right there. I personally don't like to add this. I just prefer to have it like this. So that is the ad setup right there. We can flick between all of these different views, see how this is going to show up on regular search, on the side view and on mobile view. And then right here, I should also mention this. This is the ad strength. So as you can see right now, this ad has poor performance. And the reason for this is just because like I've created this as a tutorial video and I haven't really gone into detail with it. So what it's asking for is it's asking me to create 10 more headlines. So you would just go through, create 10 more headlines, create longer descriptions, uh, unpin description for more combination. So if you add more headlines, it's going to have more combination anyway. So because I only have a few and they are all pinned, it's basically telling me, hey, you're not really giving us much to work with here. However, we can go add headline. If we add more than 10, then this is going to drop off as well. And the ad strength is going to shoot up. So I would recommend paying attention to this and doing what this says right here. And then once that is set up, we can go for save. And as you can see, that ad group is now created. Then we can do the same for the side hustle ad group right here. I'm not going to do this because you get the idea. You know how to do this now. And then all we have to do, I actually think I do have to do this. Otherwise, it's not going to let me go through. So I'll just set this up real quick off camera so that I can actually go through to the next screen. So once you have that set up, we can go down and save and go to the next step. And then this is the final area right here. This is where we can set a budget and bits. So right here, the individual budget, this is where we set this to the set amount per day. But now we can go down to the bid strategy. So it now asks, how do you want to manage your ads? And we have a few different options, but we want to leave this as enhanced CPC. And this is the best option right here because we can set the cost per click and we can literally see how many monthly clicks we are going to get or estimated monthly clicks. So we can go down here and we can maybe set this to like 20 cents. So if we set this to 20 cents, we can see 2000 monthly clicks. 
this is not the best. This is definitely not enough to get data. So let's go for um, 30 cents per click. And we can see we are potentially getting 50,000 monthly clicks. I'm absolutely happy with that. Then side hustle is a little bit more expensive. 72 cents per click, 16,000 monthly impressions. So once again, let's leave that. So once that is set up, you are happy with the bid and the monthly clicks. We can go down and click on save. And just like that, the campaign is now created. Now, this doesn't mean that the ad is immediately running right now because Microsoft actually have to check this. They have to check the ad is all good. It complies with the terms and conditions, and it takes about a day to do this. So we can just click on got it. And we basically now have to wait for Microsoft to approve this ad, approve what we are doing here. And then once they do, as soon as they do, the ad is going to go live and we are going to start getting clicks and hopefully some conversions. So that is my Bing ads tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.